Electric car sales in 2025 have skyrocketed and really that's maybe even understating things. Strangely, the media narrative that EV sales are plummeting has completely disappeared. I don't know why, because EV sales have never plummeted. It's all been completely fake news. I kind of wonder to myself if they think, you know, the media think, maybe the general public are now saying, we can't trust these idiots anymore. We're not going to read anything they say if they keep on lying to us. So now they're actually just staying quiet. Anyhow, here are the numbers on which countries or which regions are really killing it with EV sales this year. And to be honest, they're pretty much all of them. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters, YouTube members. Guys, I really want to sincerely thank you for your support. And if you'd like to become a member on either of those platforms, I'll put a link in the description. EV sales are surging globally. Now, it's true the media have said this is happening. Some small numbers of the media have recognized this, very small. At the same time though, they're saying things like this. Here's a headline from Car Scoops. EV sales are surging globally, but a dark cloud is gathering. Ooh, dark cloud. China continues to dominate the EV and hybrid markets, accounting for over half of all global sales. Now, a lot of you probably think, I think it's very normal for some reason. It's a myth that in China, most of these electrified sales are hybrids. They're actually not. NEV sales, so a combination of, of electric cars and plug-in hybrids, 65% of them are fully electric. Only 35% are actually hybrids. So EV sales are even dominating completely in China. And Interestingly, this year, electric car sales are up 29% worldwide, 29%. So yeah, I mean, this is not just China. This is Europe as well. Even America, EV sales have grown too. According to global sales data, 4.1 million electric vehicles, including plug-in hybrids and fully electric cars, were sold during the first quarter of the year. That's growth of just under 30%, 29.5% compared to the same period in 2024. In North America, half a million electrified vehicles were sold in the first quarter of this year, marking a 16% increase over the same period last year. The breakdown between EVs and plug-in hybrids isn't disclosed, but data from Cox Automotive and Kelly Blue Book shows that 300,000 purely electric vehicles were sold in the USA, representing an 11% increase versus last year. So, I mean, to be honest, American sales, even though they're up 11.5% 11, 11 electric cars this year, they are dragging the globe because EV sales are up significantly more than that in places like China. Demand for electrified vehicles continues to grow and there's more and more choices, more and more options. Prices have come down. The products are getting better. Charging speed's getting faster. Range is getting longer. And a lot of people think that within the next couple of years, EV sales will hit around 50% globally. And by 2030, we could be closer to around 80%. Europe saw stronger growth with 900,000 electric vehicles sold in January, February, and March in total. That's a 22% increase. Battery electric vehicles alone increased by 27%. So EV sales in Europe have grown this year. Even though Teslas have gone down, EV sales have grown by 27%, which is amazing considering plug-in hybrid sales only grew by 10%. Italy was crazy. Italy, EV sales in Italy grew by 64%, Germany up 34%, and the UK up 42%. So these numbers are pretty incredible. But China is still leading the way. Uh, in fact, electrified vehicle sales in China grew by 36% this year. And EV sales grew by more than that. In fact, electric cars, purely electric car sales in China grew by 40%. The rest of the world outside of Europe, America, and China, EV sales grew by 27%. So a total of 300,000 vehicles. And yeah, I mean, it's not massive, but still it is going up. So looking at this chart here from Car Scoops, you can see China up 36%. By the way, this is hybrids and EVs combined, which makes it look worse than what it actually is because EV sales have grown at more than 29%. This is electrified vehicles, but EV sales alone have grown by more than 30% worldwide. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the media will find a way to spin this to say EV sales are slowing down, and they have here. There's a dark cloud looming. Why is that dark cloud looming? 
Well, apparently, this is the reason why. Three-fifths of EV and plug-in hybrid models sold in America are produced domestically. The rest come from Japan, Korea, and Mexico. New tariffs will mean some of those cars, well, they probably won't be sold in America anymore. Um, here's what they said. This quarter, while turbulent, has been a, has seen a strong rate of growth globally for the EV market, said Row Motion Data Manager Charles Lester. Some countries, such as the UK, had a record-breaking march as drivers continue to go electric. The rem the removal of subsidies in France had a shrinking effect on sales, which are down 18%. Now, sales in France are quite interesting because subsidies in France were really big. So removing those subsidies was always going to have a pretty significant effect. But fortunately, France doesn't make up the entire world. So what exactly is this so-called dark cloud? Well, to be honest, in the article, it didn't say anything about what that even was. But maybe that means that EV sales in the United States could go down because of those EVs not being potentially available in America anymore because of Trump's tariffs. Well, the only thing is Trump's tariffs affect every model of car. And there's actually far more models, particularly from Toyota. I mean, one million cars that Toyota sold last year and not were not made in America. One million cars they sold in America were not made in America. So those would all have a 25% tariff put on them and none of them were electric. Uh, sure, the Subaru, uh, sure the Subaru Solterra from Subaru, the EV, and the Toyota equivalent, the BZ4X. Sure, they was made in Japan, but they're rubbish. Their sales are nothing, so that will have almost no effect whatsoever. I actually think EV sales won't go down in the United States. I think they'll continue to increase um, for various reasons. The products are getting better. The cars are getting better. And I've just been in China recently, and the transformation in China is staggering. One thing I really noticed there was because of the increase in electric car sales, because of that increase, you can definitely tell that pollution is lower. You smell less fumes when you're walking down the street and there's cars everywhere. You don't seem to feel that feeling you often get here in Australia. And I know you get in America as well, where you go, oh man, the air is dirty. I feel like I'm walking in a, a, a basically a cloud of pollution. You, you get that a lot less now in many cities in China. That's one of the big benefits here. And I think a lot of people are seeing this. A lot of people are seeing these huge benefits, the much cheaper running costs, and they're going electric. I think this is going to snowball. The experience of driving electric car is overwhelmingly positive. And what happens? You tell your friends. You tell your friends, mate, have a drive in my EV. And they might say, no, nah, I don't want to. But eventually they do. And eventually they buy one as well.